So in the last video, we set up a very simple Express server with the React frontend. In this section, we'll cover exactly what Node Express in NPM is. So first of all, Node.js is a runtime environment that lets you execute code outside the browser. And this is important for things like making HTTP requests and SQL queries. And next, NPM is just a package manager. It essentially allows us to update, remove, and install third-party libraries. And third-party libraries is just another way of saying pre-written code. And finally, we have Express. Express is just a server that's actually run by Node. So essentially, the Express code is executed in the Node environment. So hopefully that gives you a better understanding about the differences between Node, NPM, and Express. So in addition to the third-party libraries that were generated by the Express command, we'll also be making use of three additional libraries. So first, we have the cores library. In this library, we'll essentially Essentially, be used to help us communicate with our React frontend from our Express server. And the communication will happen through a proxy that we'll set up in the React app. And without this library, if we try to just communicate with our React app on the front end, we would receive a cross origin resource error. And next, we have the Helmet library. And this library essentially makes our HTTP requests more secure by updating the headers. And Helmet updates our headers automatically in the background. We don't have to set anything up in our our Express server. And finally, we have the PG library. And this is the main library we'll use to communicate with our PSQL database. And this PG library is similar to the other libraries that are for other databases like MySQL. And that library is called MySQLJS. And in the same way, this PG library is what provides us a way to communicate with our PSQL database from our Express server. So we can now go back to our app and test to see if it's working. So first, make sure your direct directories and files are structured as you see here. If not, just see the last section and I'll walk you through the steps there. Next, we can open a terminal and then on the command line, just write npm run dev start. And remember, dev start is a user defined command we set up in our package.json in the last section. And essentially, dev start just runs nodemon. And if we hit enter, and yes, we should be seeing this, our server is working. 